All right, so this is what is in my camera bag for film photography in 2024. I recently picked up this Minolta SRT100 and it has been fantastic. It has the exact same feel as what you'd think of as like a classical film camera and for about an eighth of the price of what a retailer will charge you for an AE Canon uh, program. And this thing is fantastic. It has a really fun little uh, light meter in it. I'm pretty excited about picking up another 35 millimeter lens for this camera and then also eventually a telephoto lens, which will be super exciting to shoot with. From what I have heard, Minolta used to make some of the best lenses that were available and so I'm really excited to shoot with some of these classic old lenses that are, you know, were the top of their line when they came out. And I'm waiting for a bunch of it to get developed now and I'm super stoked to show photos when they finally come through. Next up is my film extractor or film puller, whatever you want to call it. It just helps when you want to do double exposures or wound a, a spool of film that wasn't supposed to be. And this one's pretty nice. Next up, I have my black and white film that I've been bulk loading, which is super exciting to do for the very first time. What I'm using to bulk load currently is ISO 200 Astra EDU, black and white photography film. I'm going to hopefully also start developing it on my own, which is super exciting as well since black and white is significantly easier and hopefully that will increase the turnaround time for these videos. Next up is the bulk loader that I used. It's actually a lot easier to use than I thought. We're learning props so that I can kind of show the technique that I used to get it in there finally after 15 minutes in the dark. I'm sure most people will be able to figure it out after doing it once or twice, but for somebody who's a little bit horrified of doing it wrong and sitting there in the dark with 60 bucks worth of film in their hands, is it's super satisfying to be able to make film rolls that are more or less than 36, because sometimes I only want to do 10 shots of something and then go and be done with that little project. All right, and next up is the little air blower. This thing is super nice for keeping everything nice and clean, dust off the lenses, because you're not supposed to actually clean your lenses with like your sleeve or anything like that. It erodes the lens a little bit, so using an air blower is significantly better. Next up is the Manfrotto tripod I have. Nothing special here, also linked down below. A couple more rolls of film that I forgot that I had and have just been sitting in there. More black and white, super excited to go and shoot these two. They're all about 20, 20 shots a pop, and a pen from one of my old workplaces that kind of managed to make it. Next up is a super fun little point and shoot camera from Kodak, Ektar H35. It is a half frame camera, which is super exciting because it has 76 shots. I'm going to try and do a video about how you can get 100 shots onto one roll of film with this camera, so wait for that to come up. Thank you so much for watching. This is what's in my camera bag for 2024 for film photography. Let us know down what you have in your bag and we'll see you in the next one.